Hello there, and welcome back to another episode of our Lumina Neo Academy, the show where we help you to get the most out of this photo editing application. Now, if you've never been here before, my name is Jacob Bors, and I'm a creator and founder here at Clever Photographer. Now, before we're going to start, I have a few things I want to cover. First of all, at the end of the video, I'm going to give you access to our popular Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet. Finally, I would like to ask you to please like, comment and share on this video. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we can keep creating content like this. In today's video, we're going to look at the Luminar Neo's new extension that will help you to tackle the misfocus and motion blur. The SuperSharp AI refines the blur on an object's outlines caused by movement, missed focus or a shaky camera and logically stabilizes the whole photo. The neural network at its core analyzes the depth, perspective and the environment of the photo and works out with the compression algorithm. The result is a crisp and naturally sharp photo just as it was meant to be. The first thing we're going to do is to install the extension into the Luminar Neo. Don't forget that the SuperSharp AI is a paid professional extension and if you want to use it, you either need to subscribe to Luminar Neo or purchase the extension pack. To install it, what we need to do is to navigate to the top left corner of your screen and click on a little puzzle icon. When you open it, it will open the new extension window where we can then access the new extension. It's the sixth extension on the list. You can see it here, SuperSharp AI. And what you need to do, you need to click on Get. So click on it. And from here, you can subscribe to the application or you can purchase the extension pack. What we're gonna do, we're gonna navigate to the bottom of the window here, click on Activation Code, and we're just gonna enter the activation code here. Once that is done, what we need to do is just to click on Activate. Once you activate your extension, you simply need to click on the install button. It only takes a few seconds and once it's finished, it will give you the message installed. After this, we can close the extension window. This is a good time to remind you that this video is powered by our Luminar Neo Power Bundle. For a great price, you can get over 986 new elements to power up your Luminar Neo tools. With this bundle, you can get extra high-definition skies, overlays, textures, backgrounds, sky objects, LUTs, and presets. All of these will help you to transform your images with just a few clicks. If you want to learn more about it, you can follow the link in the description of this video, or you can simply visit our website, cleverphotographer.com. And now it's time to look at the tool itself. First, I should mention that the SuperSharp AI can be used on all types of images. It can be used on RAW files, JPEG, and all file formats supported by Luminar Neo. The second thing I wanted to mention is that the extension can be used as a part of the plugin for other applications, for example, like Lightroom, Photoshop, Affinity Photo, or Apple Photos. But now, without any further ado, let's jump into it and have a look at the tool. So we are here in a catalog module. We're just going to select one of the sample files here, and then we're going to move it into edit module. We can do that by clicking on the edit on the top of our screen, or we can click on E on our keyboard. Now, where is the tool? We're going to navigate towards our main toolbar in the right side of our screen. And there on the top, you will see the section called extensions. Inside of the section, as you can see, we now have the noiseless AI as well as the new super sharp AI. When we click on a tool, it will open just like all the other tools in Luminar Neo and we can start to use it. Now working with this tool is really easy. We only have a limited amount of options here. First of all, we have this drop down box and when we click on it, we can choose between motion blur, defocus and universal. Those are three situations you will face in photography. Motion blur is in a case where most of the image is sharp and only some parts like moving objects like cars, people or animals are moving. Defocus 
is the option you should use when most or actually the whole image is defocus and not char. And finally, the universal, if you can't find those two applying to your image, just go with the universal and see how it works for you. So once you choose which one you prefer, so for example, for us, we're going to use the universal, then it's time to choose between the three levels of sharpening. Right now with the tool, you have an option to choose between low, middle and high. So first what I would do, I would zoom into 100% to see the amount of blur. And we can do that by going to the bottom of our screen, clicking on the zoom shortcut and selecting the 100%. After that, we can just drag the screen, have a look and it's not that bad. So I think middle would be a good choice to start with. So let's go back to our tool or our extension. Once again, we are on a universal, but you could also choose the defocus as the entire image is a little bit soft. But let's go with the universal, select it and then click on middle. And if you work with Luminar Neo for a while, you've seen this animation before and what it does, it basically scan the image and applying the AI to see what type of sharpening it should apply. Once it's finished, it will apply the sharpening and we will be able to continue. Now, once the process is over, you will see that the option we have selected, in our case, the middle option is grayed out and the sharpening is applied to the image. Now, since we still zoom in to 100%, we can now quickly have a look at the before and after. So let's do that. We can do that by clicking on the little eye icon in the top right corner of the tool, or we can go to the bottom of our screen and also use the eye icon there. So let's have a look before and after. And you can really see the difference. And normally I would be quite happy with this result. However, just to show you, you can then, if you're not happy, just select another of the presets. So in our case, let's go and use the high. So all you need to do, come back to the tool and just select high. Once again, you can see that the sharpening is finished and we can again double check the before and after. And again, the result is quite impressive. Now, one more thing I wanted to mention, just as we adjusted the level of sharpening, you can of course also step in, click on the drop down box and again, choose between the universal, defocus and motion blur. The idea is to look for the best result. But in our case, I think I'm quite happy with what we got. So let's just close away and now zoom out. So we're just gonna select the fit to screen. Now, before we're going to finish, I want to quickly mention that, of course, that you can use the Super Sharp AI tool with masking. This would be especially handy if only certain parts of your image are not sharp. How would you do that? It's really simple. You would still go back into your Super Sharp AI, simply click on masking, here select one of the options, for example, like a brush, and then just brush in the parts that you want to sharpen. So one more time, do super sharp AI located in an extension part of your main editing panel. All you have to do here is to choose between the different styles of sharpening and then adjust the level of the sharpening you want to apply to your image. Once you do that, it will be applied and you can always double check the before and after with your little eye icon here. The super sharp AI can be used on all file formats that are supported by Luminar Neo and they can be used as a part of the plugin process for applications like Lightroom, Photoshop and Affinity Photo. And there you have it. If you want a copy of our popular Luminar Neo shortcut cheat sheet, there is nothing easier than heading to our website cloudphotographer.com slash luminargift. While you're there, you can also check out one of our popular Luminar Neo products or you can stay here and watch more videos about Luminar Neo. For today, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please make sure that you like, comment and share on this video. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel so we can keep creating content like this. For today, thank you very much for watching. My name is Jacob Bors and I can't wait to see you in the next video.